Hey guys, welcome back to Tealhouse Farm. We're doing another meal from the canning pantry today. So this one is really simple. Today, um, it's already five o'clock, man, I'm just doing dinner. We were um, outside most of the day filling our raised beds and working on the garden. So I need a really fast meal today. And so we are going to do some like hamburger bean enchiladas. So I'm using some things that I've already opened, some things that are new, just kind of using up what's in the fridge, but these are all from our canning pantry. So this is a really simple one again. So I have, I opened up a quart of hamburger, but I didn't finish. So I got about half of it left. So this is about a pint worth of hamburger. That's not gonna make enough enchiladas for our family. So we're gonna drain and throw in a pint of home canned black beans. And we're going to add some onions. These onions, I, I canned these like two weeks ago and I only canned six because I thought, I don't really know that I'll use them that often. I use them all the time. So I'm keeping my eye now for sales and I'm going to buy like 10 pounds of onions in one day and can, just can, can, can onions. I love having them in my pantry, it is so nice. Um, and then I also bought enchilada sauce. I found it's more um, price conscious if you buy a very large can. So what I do is I buy a large can and then when I use it for a first recipe, I then freeze in these just, re you know, I reused a jelly jar or whatever this was. Um, I just froze them in single, what I think will be about a single meal size portion. And then I take them out when I need them. So I took this one out of the freezer so that we can make our little enchiladas today. And I'm just gonna sit this in some hot water. It's been in the fridge all day, so it's partially defrosted, but I'm gonna sit it in some hot water to frost it the rest of the way so we can make our meal. As far as things that aren't from the canning pantry, we're gonna need some tortillas and a little bit of cheese if you want cheese, which we want cheese. You could also sneak a lot of vegetables into this. You, I know, shocker. I'm actually not gonna do this today because I just wanna get these made and done, but some vegetables that you could sneak in that people really wouldn't notice would be, you could open up a can of zucchini, you could open up a can of mushrooms, you could even open up, like, you could do some corn, um, the zucchini and the mushrooms, you could really hide if you chop them up really small because between the beans and the beef, you wouldn't really notice. But today we're just keeping it simple. I'm gonna serve a salad on the side. I always have salads here. If it's spring, summer, fall, we're growing it. And right now it's winter. I just always have lettuce in the fridge from the store. So enchiladas, salad, might do some chips and dip if I have some of that handy in the, yeah, I know Micah's favorite. If I have some of that handy in the pantry, I gotta go look, but this will be really fast and really easy. So let's get cooking. First, we defrost the enchilada sauce. And then we're gonna get our favorite cast iron pan. You don't have to have one, you could just use a regular pot, but I always like using my cast iron. We're going to add our beef. Again, this was pressure canned, so it's fully cooked. We just need to get it out of this jar and warm it up. And getting it out of the jar can be a bit of a challenge when you don't can in a wide mouth jar. I should have known better. But we finally get it all out and we're going to open and drain our half pint here of diced onions and add that to our beef. And then we're also going to add our beans. So these beans are home canned from dry beans. So I'm going to drain them, but I'm also going to rinse them as well because I get a lot of that protein goo on them, just like if you opened a can of beans from the store. I'm using black beans, but you could use any kind of bean you wanted. The home canning of beans is very similar. Now we're going to go ahead and get our salad ready. As those of you who've watched us for a long time know, we do have a greenhouse and I used to grow salad basically year round, but this past year with the Annie surgery plus restructuring all of our garden beds, I just did not grow the greenhouse over winter this year because it was just too much. So this is a store-bought salad, but it's quick and easy. We're just gonna add some cherry tomatoes and slice up a cucumber and then give it a little bit of a toss and it should be pretty ready to go and hopefully we'll get more than one meal out of this, but we'll see. I also decide last minute I'm gonna use up the sprouts here that I sprouted on the counter, add those to the salad, little extra greens. We're gonna make the Rotel dip because the girls heard me mention it and they weren't gonna accept that we weren't actually going to have it. So we put in the Rotel tomatoes and then we add our half log of Velveeta cheese and we're just gonna put that on low to simmer. By this time our beef is nice and hot. We were just warming it up enough to mix it real well and then we're gonna add in probably just a quarter cup of that enchilada sauce, mix it up again, add a big handful of cheddar cheese and give it another mix and then we're ready to make our little enchilada rolls. So we just have a flour tortilla, a big scoop of the mixture, roll it up nice and tight, put it in a greased pan and repeat over and over again until the pan is full. 
On top of that, we're going to pour the rest of the enchilada sauce, which is probably about a cup, and then we're gonna sprinkle some more cheese on top. Then it goes in the oven on 350, and it's gonna cook until it's bubbly, about 20 minutes. Again, remember all the meat and stuff inside is already fully cooked and we warmed it up. So we're really just trying to get that sauce and the cheese all melted to make it extra delicious. Let's go ahead and make Sam's plate. We got some chips and cheese. We're going to add one enchilada. I will warn you, the first enchilada out of the pan is always a bit tricky. I broke it, but the other ones come out nice and clean. And then we'll add some salad on the side and a little bit of dressing. And then his plate is gonna be ready to go, nice and hot and ready to eat. And I know he's hungry because this um, was a day where he was working at the hospital. So he just finished a 12 hour shift. Everybody loves it. Mr. P loved it until he realized there were chips on the table and then he was all about the chips. And I will say that I am very impressed that he somehow managed to figure out a way to eat his chips with a fork. So way to go, little man. Some of the kids were a little unsure about it. This We don't eat Mexican food a lot, and so they were a little unsure, but they eventually all got into it. Annie wasn't feeling her best, so she didn't eat dinner tonight. Hopefully better tomorrow. It's a Mexican dinner. From the canning pantry. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. Hey, on your bum bum. Thank you. Hey, you too. Sit down.